John Mark Fillet is the mind behind the Oscar and Academy Award winning film, The Dallas Buyers Club. This film is a fictional movie with some true elements about a homophobic electrician that works around the system to help AIDS patients get the medication they so desperately deserve after he too is diagnosed with the disease. Some may describe his actions as those of the modern day Robin Hood. In the film, the story covers a multitude of problems associated with HIV AIDS after its discovery in the early 80s. Some examples will include the many misconceptions, origins, spread and containment, as well as medications and treatments for the disease. Hello everyone, my name is Chelsea Grant. I'm a first year political science major on the pre-law track from Atlanta, Georgia. And we are here to talk about the globalization and disease control of human immunodeficiency virus and acquired immunodeficiency syndrome, or commonly known as HIV AIDS. Hi, my name is Nyla Green, and I am a first year political science major from Ellicott City, Maryland. In the past, it was thought that AIDS was spread through coughing and casual physical contact, like hugging or shaking hands. The history of the disease is full of myths because prior to 1983, the ways it was spread were virtually unknown. What exactly is AIDS, you may ask? AIDS stands for Acquired Immunodeficiency Syndrome. It is a disease that weakens the immune system and increases susceptibility to infection. AIDS is caused by HIV, or human immunodeficiency virus, which can be sexually transmitted, passed through blood products, or from mother to child during labor or nursing. In the early 80s, because the disease was mo mostly seen in homosexual men, some referred to the disease as the gay cancer. Researchers even called it GRID, or Gay-Related Immune Deficiency. It wasn't until, until September 24, 1982, that the term AIDS was used. In 2014, about 20,896 people were diagnosed with AIDS. And since the early 1980s, about 1,210,835 people have been diagnosed with AIDS in the United States. Most cases of HIV, which eventually progress into AIDS, occur in metropolitan areas with 500,000 or more people. Today, there are approximately 36.7 million people worldwide living with HIV and AIDS at the end of 2015. Of these, 1.8 million were children, being 15 years or younger. Most of these children live in Sub-Saharan Africa and were infected by their HIV-positive mothers during pregnancy, childbirth, or breastfeeding. The vast majority of people living with HIV are in low or middle income countries. According to WHO, Sub-Saharan Sub Africa is the most affected region, with 25.6 million people living with HIV in 2015. Africa accounts for two-thirds of the global total of newly infected HIV victims. Despite advances in scientific understanding of HIV and its prevention and treatments, as well as years of significant effort by the global health community and leading government and civil society organizations, most people living with HIV or at risk for HIV do not, access, do not have access to care and prevention, and there is still no cure. However, effective treatment with antiretroviral drugs can control the virus so that people with HIV can enjoy healthy lives and reduce, and reduce the risk of transmitting the virus to others. Currently, there are five major types of medicines. Reverse transcripts inhibitors, protease inhibitors, fusion inhibitors, integrase inhibitors, and multi-drug combinations. Like I stated before, it wasn't until September 9th, 1983, that age transmission by such casual contact, food, water, air, and environmental surfaces were ruled out. As researchers began to rule out certain transmission methods, age prevention tools were discovered. One way to keep from contracting this disease is abstinence. Not engaging in sexual intercourse is a way to limit the transfer of body fluids that possibly carry HIV that develops in AIDS. Since the deadly virus flows through blood, sharing needles in hospital and other professional settings is prohibited. When getting a tattoo or piercing, equipment used should be properly sterilized so blood from one person is not transferred to another. During sexual intercourse, 
Latex condom should be used. Limiting your number of sexual partners should also be considered. And remember, you should always know the HIV status of your sexual partner. AIDS develops out of HIV, and both of you should stay safe. If you know you'll be in contact with blood or any other body fluids, it is best to wear gloves, preferably latex gloves. Open cuts, sores, and broken skin should be covered with bandages. There are medications that people could take if they feel like they're at high risk for contracting the disease. They are referred to as pre-exposure prophylaxis. Our goal for this talk is to spread awareness about the rise of HIV AIDS, discuss the global spread of the disease from its discovery up until now, and provide prevention strategies as well as the effectiveness of its medications and or treatment. Because I'm a political science major, I am very interested in the role the government plays in the AIDS epidemic. Over 698,000 people have died from HIV and AIDS in the United States. In 2003, the President's Emergency Plan for AIDS Relief was made a law. Over a decade has passed and more than $50 billion was spent not only to fight AIDS in the United States, but to test and treat people globally. I agree with Nala. With me also being a political science major, I've witnessed the spread of HIV and AIDS has been drastically reduced since its introduction in the early 80s. Information about the disease and prevention is readily available AIDS Awareness Month dedicated to the prevention and spread of the disease. A long-acting pre-exposure prophylaxis is being created and tested now. Unless it is regularly taken, which is not always the case, various global initiatives and collaborations are addressing the global HIV AIDS challenge. For example, the United Nations Millennium Development Declaration signed in 2000 by 189 nations encompasses the eight Millennium Development Goals or MDGs, three of which are health related, have been set up to assist in funding and implementing HIV, or HIV prevention and care programs and related health initiatives worldwide. Despite the large amount of aid being made available in addressing the AIDS epidemic, shortfalls in both money and numbers of people being reached are apparent. Of the estimated 6 million people in developing countries who are in need of ART, only 400,000 currently receive it. Of these, 208,000 are in Brazil alone. Even if the World Health Organization 3x3 effort, which aims to provide treatment to 3 million people by the end of 2005, is successful, it will have addressed only 50% of the demand for treatment at the current level of need. In 2013, there were an estimated 12,963 deaths of people diagnosed with HIV infection that progressed into AIDS, and 6,955 deaths were attributed directly to HIV. Of the 49,273 Americans diagnosed with HIV in 2011, 32,052 of them developed AIDS. 1.1 million people died of AIDS in 2015 which is a 45% decrease since its peak in 2005. Deaths have declined due in part to antiretroviral treatment scale-ups. HIV remains a leading cause of death worldwide and number one cause of death in Africa. There were 150,000 new infections among children in 2015 globally. An estimated two million people are living with HIV in Latin America and the Caribbean combined. Or younger. Most of these children live in sub-Saharan Africa and were affected by their HIV mother. In the early 80s, because the disease was mostly, mostly seen in homosexual men, some referred to the, the disease as gay cancer or um, GRID or gay-related immuno. Because I'm a political science major, I'm very interested. Was made a law. Over a decade has passed and more than $50, million, $50 billion, wow, 